the garage, taped her up, valve is in, Kushkor has our special valve. I guess I should have just did this out here, huh? But anyway, so you guys can see this again. Real quick, I put the Kush Core on an extra rim because it was in the box and it was really stiff. It's actually stiffer than it looks. And then I went ahead and uh, a little trick, I'm, it might work, I'll let you know. I uh, put three tire irons in just to give it a little gap. So maybe that'll help stretch it out just a little bit more, make it a little easier to get the bead in between here because you gotta squeeze it in on each side. So let's take these out. Uh, that could have been a waste of time, but hey, who knows? So let's see if this Kush core is worth the hassle. Keep those when I need them. And like I said, if you got an extra day to do that, just to let, to let this unfold, get your wheel off if you have to do what I did. All right, Kush cores. I mean, I can't push my fingers in touch, not even on the edge. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know. I've been riding without it forever. Where the hell's my wheel? Oh, duh. Also, you want to, there's grooves on these. And I guess you want to line uh, one of those up at least with the valve. Just to help to get the air in. I'm going to line that groove up. All right, put it on the ground. Put that there. I need to step on it. And stretch it. Well, this went on easier on this wheel than it did my other wheel when I first got it out of the box. That was a bitch, to be honest. All right. Make it even. Make sure that slit is lined up with your valve core. And there you go. I'm gonna run it like this. Shit, sick. I'm sure it'll center itself once we get the wheel tire on one side. I, I hope. Then, I mean, the cush core even comes with directions in the box. So I'm gonna go off these first. Uh, my buddy told me to try it. One side of the tire on, put the cush core on, which sounds kind of hard too. So I'm just gonna try it this way and then I'll bead one side up and then put the push point if I can't get it on this way. And then, I don't have a round trash can or anything to put it on. But I do have a box, will that work? Put it on there. And uh, where's my valve sitting at on that tire? Gotta have your five cent match your logos. Gotta be pro style, pro status. around the outside I should say. And center that up. I love these Michelin tires. They are pretty nice. Now it says it's not good to do with like a half broken thumb. Uh oh, time out. Hey babe. What up? What, what? Uh, the dark chocolate almond. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just push it in. It's real easy. It did say... A little soapy water. I already got some mixed up, so hey. Why not try it? This could make it worse. Hmm. Uh, I 
have been a bad idea. I did have to use tire irons just to get it on the one side. So, really not looking forward to the other side. like the hardest part is trying to get a piece of it down and under. Once you can get that, it seems to go fine. Kind of pushing the cush core back and then letting the tire fall in. But this is where it's gonna be fun, kind of like I did last time. Try to push the tire in is so. I mean, I got it on all to that little section. Let me dry off, bust these tire irons out. And pray that the soap uh, downhill tires, these are not downhill tires. Downhill tires, that would not be fun. I'm just trying to work. Get some slack. Oh, come on. There we go. Try to push the tire in more. Yeah. Heavy breathing. Tire loose over here. Close, close guys. Get some tire push in there. All about the finesse. Right, come on. Oh man, I'm kind of scared to try to take this off now. F this crap, Chase. You can do this for me next time. Ah. So close. Sure, I dislocated my thumb a couple weeks ago and oh baby pump for that. I mean that literally only really took 10 minutes, <laughs> maybe 15. It's just kind of messy the way I did it. Uh, I really think stretching that out just that tiny bit overnight with those tire lines kind of helped. So everybody said it's kind of a bitch. Now the Final test is, this is where you'd want to put your sealing in. 
But I think I'm gonna try to air it up and see how it seats. So I got a lot of tires sucked in there, so hopefully she'll blow out. So that's Kush Core in there. It's it really sticks out on the sides. So it's really I think gonna help uh turning, kind of not letting your tire roll over, maybe being able to run a little bit lower air pressure and still get good traction without your tire kind of rolling over. Because I find that to be a big pet peeve of mine. I, can't, I mean, everybody runs lower pressures, but I can't stand it. Just because I don't like that rolling feeling. I know I'm probably giving up on some of my traction, but I don't know, I just don't like it. And it just throws my whole game off. But, so maybe this will help me. Uh, we'll find out, and I mean, I spent a, quite a big penny on these wheels, so I kind of want to protect them after that nice dent I put in it, so it's kind of depressing. So yeah, all right, let's air these up and let's see if it worked. Well, all right guys, that was pretty much it. Uh, no gimmicks, no nothing crazy. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than I thought, so Chase, eat shit. Uh, just kidding. And yeah, so I'm gonna throw some seal in it now that I know that it holds. I'm gonna clean this thing because it's filthy. My bike is fully cleaned and polished up. Wheels are true. So yeah, I'm gonna use orange seal in it. And uh, if you guys have any questions or Want to know anything about it? Uh, hit me up and let me know. If not, I uh, hope that was a good guide for you to put on your Kush Core and hope you guys try it. And so you don't bang up your beautiful wheels like I did. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And uh, keep those bars up and I'll see you guys out there. Keep shredding.